A group of Benedictine English monks are saying goodbye to their two-century-old monastery. The Downside Abbey is one of only four minor basilicas in England. In fact, it is the senior Benedictine monastery of the English Benedictine Congregation. It was originally founded in the early 17th century at Douai in the Spanish Netherlands. Joining us now with the story is Luke Copen, Europe editor for Catholic News Agency. Luke, welcome back. Good to see you. So why did these monks decide to leave their historic monastery? Well, their numbers have dropped significantly in recent years. Uh, now there are only eight resident monks in the community, and they're living in accommodation that was originally built for more than 50 of them. Uh, also, and this is crucial, um, they've been forced to sever their ties with Downside School, with, with which they've enjoyed a very long association. And they were forced to do this after a damning report into child protection at the school, which concluded that monks um, simply hadn't done enough to ensure the protection of the children in their care. How have Catholics in England responded to the decision? Uh, there's been wide, widespread dismay um, at the news that the monks are going to be leaving the community. Uh, and that's because it's, Downside Abbey is a very respected place uh, for English Catholics. It's associated with the revival of English Catholicism, um, and it's produced many great figures who are um, uh, very much universally respected among Catholics here. Luke, can you talk a little bit about the history of this abbey and its legacy in England? Absolutely. It's produced um, some really great people over the years. Um, they include people like, uh, uh, like Bishop Christopher Butler, who was a major figure at the Second Vatican Council. Uh, and it's also produced uh, great scholars as well in its time. Uh, they, um, they boast a really beautiful church, the Abbey Church at Downside uh, is, is, a, is a real gem. Uh, it's one of only four minor basilicas in England, and it's a very precious, precious building that they're now going to have to be leaving behind. Um, the monks also have a huge library of more than 450,000 books, and they take care of the archive of the English Benedictine congregation as well. So they're going to have to decide what to do with this great patrimony that's been in their care for so long. Look, I guess the big question right now is where are the monks going to live? Uh, they themselves don't know where they're going next. Um, everything's on the table. Uh, and one option is for them to move in with another English Benedictine community. That's a, a real possibility. Um, I spoke to the, the abbot, the newly elected abbot, and he said that he hoped that the move would be an opportunity for the, the now very small community to focus once again on core monastic principles. Um, he felt that they hadn't been able to do this in recent years because they, they're just such a small group of people managing such a huge site. Look, any idea what will happen to the property? Uh, no. Um, Although the, the abbot did insist that the community would take very good care of all its responsibilities uh, towards the, the abbey church and towards the library and towards the archives of the Benedict, English Benedictine congregation, uh, he said that, that in no way would they just be walking away from, from that and uh, leaving it for other people to decide what to do with it. Well, Luke, thank you so much for your time today. We really appreciate it. Luke Copen, Europe editor for Catholic News Agency. Thanks again, Luke. Thank you.